Hello everyone and welcome to the chapter number 79 of the Blender Master Course Face Rigging Part 3. We started with the modeling of a 3D character in Blender from the chapter number 70 of this course where we modeled the body of character, the hair particles, the clothes of character and finally we even understood about the concepts of character rigging and then in the last two chapters we also started to understand the facial rigging in Blender and in today's chapter we'll be finalizing the complete facial rig since we'll be first creating some drivers for a better application of face rigging and then we'll also be learning about connecting the mouth and the eyes to the facial rig. And yes, if you are new to this course, then you can watch the previous 79 chapters from the link of the playlist given in the pinned comment. So we have modeled this character and if you want to download the Blender file containing this 3D rigged character, then you can join the Patreon of this channel by using the link given in the description. And now to begin with, let's first go to the solid mode and we'll also hide the characters here by disabling the real-time display of this particle system. Now the first thing that we're going to do today is to connect these facial rigs to the shape keys that we created for the character body. So for this, first of all, we need to ensure that the value of all the shape keys that we created for the mouth expressions is set to zero. And yes, since we'll be working on the creation of drivers for these shape keys, it is suggested to watch this particular chapter in order to understand the fundamentals of drivers. Now returning back to our scene, we'll first select the open mouth shape key with the character's body selected. Now I'll take my cursor over this value option and if I right click, then here we have the option to add the driver. So I'll click on this and this menu will appear where we have to select the rig and and the bone by using this object settings. So I'll click on this object and from the list we'll first select the rig and then from the bone option we need to select that particular bone or the control which will move the mouth of the character up and down. So for this click on the bone option and we'll start typing bone and this list will appear from which we'll be selecting the bone dot mouth dot open which we created in the character rig. Now since its motion will be up and down so in the space we'll be selecting local space and as we discussed in the last chapter the up and down movement in terms of the local space was in the y axis. So in the type I'll select the Y location and once everything is finalized I simply need to take my cursor away from this menu and it will disappear. Also it might be possible that by mistake also you might accidentally take your cursor away causing the removal of the driver menu and if that happens you simply need to right click on this value again and go to edit driver and then you will be able to make any changes in the driver settings. Now in the 3D viewport if I select the character's rig and go to the pose mode by pressing ctrl plus tab then select this control with the name bone.mouse.open and try to move it in the local via axis by pressing G then you will notice that nothing is happening right now. Also do ensure that in the transform orientations the local is selected and not the global. Now the reason why we are not able to see any changes in the opening and the closing of mouth is that we have to move this control in the downward direction. However if I return back to the object mode and select the character's body again then in the open mouth shape key if I right click over here and go to edit driver then the expression in the driver which is variable plus zero is positive by default and to make it negative we simply need to add a minus sign before the variable in the expression. With this I'll press enter to confirm and we'll again select the rig then press ctrl plus tab to go to the pose mode and with this ctrl selected if I try to move it in the downward direction then you will notice that we are able to see some slight movement in the upward and the downward direction of the character's mouth. But to increase this effect we'll again return back to the object mode select the character's body then go to the edit driver for the open mouth shape key and in the expression we'll change this from minus variable plus zero to negative of variable multiplied by 10. Now press enter to confirm then select the character's rig press ctrl plus tab to enter the pose mode and with the ctrl selected I'll move it down in the downward direction by pressing G and Y and you can now notice that we are able to use this particular control for the opening and the closing of mouth. Now moving ahead, we'll be using the same driver for this control which is named as bone.teeth.open which is for controlling the upward and the downward movement of the teeth. So for this, we'll again return back to the object mode then I'll select the character's body and to copy this driver, simply right click over here and click on copy driver. Now to select the character's teeth, we'll first enable the x-ray mode by pressing alt plus Z then select the teeth from here and yes another way to do this is to go to the scene collection then in the rig object you can select the teeth from here. Now to use the same driver for the open teeth shape key also simply right click over here and select paste driver. Now to edit the driver in order to connect this shape key with the particular control that we created for the teeth simply right click over here then go to the edit driver and in the bone I'll type bone dot and select this bone dot teeth dot open. Now to see the effect I'll select the rig then go to the pose mode by pressing ctrl plus tab and I'll first select this control which is for the opening of mouth and we'll first move it in the downward direction then I'll select the control for the character's teeth and if I move it down in the downward direction then you will notice that by moving the controls the character's teeth are also moving. Now moving ahead we'll now be adding a driver for this control which is named as bone.mouth. So let's go to the object mode again select the character's body and in the shape keys we'll be selecting the out mouth. Now right click here and click on add driver then in the object select 
select the rig and in the bone we'll type bone and select this bone dot mouth now in the type we'll keep the x location selected but in the space we'll be selecting the local space also to increase the effect i'll change the expression value from variable plus zero to variable multiplied by 10 now to see the effect i'll select the characters rig then press ctrl plus tab to enter the pose mode and with this control selected if i try to move it in the x axis then now we are able to use the expression showing the outward movement of the mouth by using the shape keys now just like the out mouth shape key we'll be repeating the same procedure for the in mouth shape key also so for this let's again go to the object mode select the character's body then in the shape keys we'll first copy the driver that we created for the out mouth so right click here and select copy driver and to paste this i'll select the in mouth shape key then right click and select paste driver and also since it will be for the inward movement of the mouth as a result we need to change the expression value from positive to negative so go to the edit driver from here then in the expression we'll be adding a minus sign before the variable multiplied by 10 now select the character's rig again press ctrl plus tab and with this ctrl selected if i move it in the negative x axis then now we are able to see the inward movement of the mouth so by moving it in the negative x axis it shows the in mouth effect and by moving it towards the positive x axis it will show the out mouth effect now moving ahead let's also create the drivers for the remaining two shape keys which are for the happy mouth and the sad mouth so for this with the previous driver copied i'll go to the happy mouth then right click here and select paste driver then to edit the properties right click and select edit driver and we just need to change the type from the x location to the y location this is because we'll be moving this particular control in the upward direction or basically the local y axis to see the effect of the happy mouth shape key similarly i'll select the sad mouth then right click and select paste driver and to edit the properties i'll go to the edit driver and first of all i'll change the type to y location and in this particular case we'll be moving the control in the downward direction and as a result i'll change the value of expression by adding a minus sign in front of the variable now to see the effect select the rig again then press ctrl plus tab to enter the pose mode and with this control selected if i try to move it in the upward direction by pressing g and y then we are able to see the smiling mouth and if i move it in the downward direction then we are able to see the sad mouth so in this way we have connected all the shape keys to the different controls that we created for the mouth and the teeth of character and now moving ahead we'll be connecting the eyes and the eyebrows of the character to these controls that we created in the character's rig however while being in the edit mode if i select this control which is for the head of character and try to rotate it then you will notice that by default the movement of the eyes and the eyebrows is being controlled by this rig control which is named as the head also this particular control is because of this bone inside the character's head which is named as def spine.006 so first we need to remove the influence of this particular bone from the eyes and the eyebrows and to do this let's first go to the object mode select the character's body press tab to enter the edit mode and do ensure that everything is deselected now to select the eyebrows and the eyes of character i'll take my cursor first over this eye and press L to select it similarly let's do the same thing for the eyebrow and for the other side also now with both the eyes and the eyebrow selected go to the object data properties and in the vertex group do ensure that this def spine.006 is selected now to remove the eyes and the eyebrows from this vertex group simply click on the remove button and now we need to create individual vertex group for both the eyes and the eyebrows so first of all deselect everything then we'll be selecting the left eye first and to create a vertex group click on this plus icon now i'll change its name by double clicking here and we'll read name it to i.l press enter to confirm and to assign these vertices to this vertex group click on the assign button now we'll do the same thing with the right eye also so with my cursor over it i will press l to select it then go to the vertex group click on the plus icon and rename it to i.r press enter to confirm and click on the assign button let's repeat the same procedure for the eyebrows also so with my cursor over the eyebrow i will press l go to the vertex groups create a new one and we'll rename it to eyebrow.l now press enter to confirm and click on the assign button at last i'll select this eyebrow by keeping the cursor over it then press l and we'll again create a new vertex group and we'll rename it to eyebrow.r click on the assign button now we need to ensure that the name of these vertex groups should exactly be the same as the name of these individual controls and to see their name you simply need to select one of them and then over here the name of the control will be displayed so this selected one is named as bone.eyebrow.l similarly this one is named as bone.eyebrow.r and the eyes also are named as bone.i.l and bone.i.r for the right eye so to rename the vertex groups let's again go to the object mode select the character's body then in the vertex groups simply double click to rename and i'll be adding the word bone dot before each of these four vertex groups so we are done with the first one now select this one let's rename it and i'll be adding bone dot before eyebrow dot l similarly for this one also i will type bone dot and press enter to confirm then in the end i'll select the vertex group for the left eye and we'll add bone dot before its name and now to see the effect i'll select the character's rig press ctrl plus tab to go to the pose mode and with any of these controls selected for the eyes or the eyebrows if i press r to 
rotate it, then you will notice that the same changes are being applied to the respective objects. Also, by using these controls, you can create different types of expressions for the character's face. And so with this, we now arrive to the end of this chapter. Today, we understood about adding the drivers for the shape keys. And then we also connected these four controls to the eyes and the eyebrows of the character. And so our next chapter will be the chapter number 80, Character Animation. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel, press that notification bell so that you can get timely updates about the upcoming chapters. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.